Next, let's understand the BCG group share matrix. This was a chart which was developed by Bruce D. Henderson of the Boston Consulting Group. Basically, he developed a chart suggesting how a company should allocate its resources to the different product lines to its different business units. <coughs> Let us understand this. It is the BCG growth matrix, like I said, was, was developed by the Boston Consulting Group, Bruce Henderson, in 1970. It is often used in brand management, in portfolio analysis, etc. But the idea was to help organizations to analyze their products or business lines so that the resources are allocated among the different product lines in a proper manner. The products and business units are ranked on the basis of their relative market share and the market growth rates and placed into one of the quadrants, four quadrants. What does this mean? Basically, it was something like this. Students, they, they, they drew one, one axis like this. It's not straight, but it's a, it's a horizontal line. Okay? The horizontal line represents the, the, the market share. Okay? Market share, where this is high and this end is low. This goes from high to low. That means if you are on this part of the matrix, you have high market share. If you are on this side, you have a low market share. And then, then you had a vertical axis, so that now you had four quadrants. And this vertical axis, this represented the growth, the market growth rate. Growth. Where this is high and this is low. Okay, so basically if you had something in this line, if you had something here, this was meant to be high growth and high market share. So this, this was certain products where there was a lot of market share and because there was a lot of market share, it meant it meant that a lot of cash was generated. A lot of cash was generated. But at the same time, at the same time, because, because there was also potential for great growth, it meant a lot of investment also had to be made in, in the units or in the product lines which fell into this one. Then there could be some which which had a low market share, but maybe there was a potential <coughs> low market share, but there is a potential for growth. Potential for growth. The question was: since the market share is low, should we try to improve the uh, increase the market share so that it comes into this? If we are not successful in implementing this, then it would just come into this quadrant, which has low market share and also low growth. This was actually represented by a dog. A dog. <coughs> they call it affectionately, affectionately call it pets too. But this quadrant has low market share low growth. In this kind of, obviously, in this, this kind of industry, one wouldn't pump in it. So, you know, in this kind of product line, this kind of business line, one wouldn't pump in more money, make investments, if possible, we would try to sell this particular product. And this, this, this quadrant, this quadrant is, is the quadrant where the market share is high, but there is not much uh, scope for growth. So what happens in this quadrant? In this quadrant, <clears throat> what happens in this quadrant? It generates a lot of cash. 
since the market share is high. Right? Market share is high, so you get a lot of people coming in. And since the potential for growth is not much, it really doesn't require much investment. So these are also referred to as the edge. So this is how the quadrants were divided. Let us look now at a much neater presentation of the Boston box, Boston growth model, Boston growth share matrix, etc. <clears throat> look at this. This is how it is represented. Like I said, this this is the horizontal axis which represents the market share, which represents the market share. Market share is also represents cash generation. Higher the market share, higher the market share, higher the cash generation. Lower the market share, lower the market generation. <coughs> Sorry, lower the cash generation, lower the cash generation. Yeah. And the vertical axis, the vertical axis represents the relative growth rate. The growth rate, the higher the rate of growth, the potential for growth is high. It means it will require more investments and therefore the requirement of cash will be high. Right? Now, this is how they were said. The, 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 uh, the, the product lines or the business units, which were the business units which are in the uh, first quadrant of high market share and high growth, these are the star performers. <clears throat> these are star performers, but these, while they have a large market share, a high market share, while they have a high market share and therefore generate a lot of cash, they also require a lot of investment. They have high cash usage. They have high cash usage because there is we need to reinvest and invest in the growth of this particular industry. <clears throat> this will slowly over a period of time when the growth of that industry, growth of that product line saturates, when, when the demand saturates, then it moves into this quadrant where the market share of the unit continues to be high, but there is not much scope for growth. Therefore, relative investments are not required, right? Further investments are not required. So, there is cash generation high, but cash usage is low. So, these are often called cash cows. These are, so this is represented by the cow. The question marks are often called even problem children. We don't know which way they will turn. These question marks, where do they lie? They have a low market share. They have a low market share, but they do have a high potential for growth. Therefore, therefore, maybe we should invest money, try to increase the market share so that we become a, a, a star, become a star, and finally move into this quadrant, the uh, cash cow quadrant. Alternatively, what happens is, despite the investments, if we are not able, if we are not able to increase the market share, if we are not able to increase the market share, then this moves into this quadrant, that is the dead dog, dogs quadrant, where growth rate is low, the investment is also low. So this will easily become this, or this will become this, from where we move to this, from where we move to this. Now, 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 mind you, what Henderson said was, he did not say, he did not say that you should be in this quadrant or this quadrant or this quadrant. What he suggests is that you should have a portfolio, portfolio, a mix of everything, a mix of product lines in each of these quadrants. If there is something in this quadrant, it is better to sell it out. What happens then is, here enough cash is generated so that we can invest in the, in the question marks, try to convert them into, into stars, try to convert them into stars, which will again become cash cows. So cash is generated here, cash is utilized here, 
cash is generated and utilized. So we need to have an appropriate mix. An appropriate mix. <coughs> Look at the stars. In an industry with high growth rates and high market share, so we are talking of the star students, right? Stars. A lot of cash is generated. Why? Because there is there is a high share of market. So a lot of cash is generated. But they also need high cash investment because of the high growth rate. But there is a potential for this to become a cash cow. If you are able to ride the growth, then what happens? After a point in time, we are there till the saturation of the market. At that point, there is not much future growth, but the market is mature and we are able, and while we don't need further investment, we are able to generate enough cash flows. So the, it is possible that at this start stage, at this growth stage, the company may adjust the price to capture the market. Right? That is why, that is why here, it could be cash crunch because while cash is being generated, generated, it also requires further investment, and and the company even adjust prices in order to increase the market share, <coughs> and then increase the price to maximize the revenue. <coughs> so this is a start. <coughs> it requires more working capital. The net amount of cash generated is not great because cash is being generated and it is also being used. But what are we looking at? We are looking at future cash generation. <coughs> Let us look at the question marks where there is high growth rate and no share of market. High growth rate and no share of market. There is high need for cash investment since sales. <clears throat> there is a high need for cash because sales are low. Low market share, so low cash generation. Low market share, therefore, low cash generation. But there is a potential to become a star and then a cash cow. But there is also a danger that it may turn into a cow. So, this question mark, like I said, May go to a star and then become a cash cow. And of course, finally, the dog, or it may go straight to the top stick. It may turn into a cow. So it might require aggressive pricing to capture the market. Question marks, like I said, are also referred to as drop In this case, of course, the net amount of cash generated may be negative. <coughs> Dear students, to invest or not to invest. <clears throat> this is the cash cow in an industry. These are mature markets. Low growth rate and high share of markets. A lot of cash is generated to have market leaders. They do not consume much cash. And further investment in this may not be productive. So there is a lot of generation of cash, not so much. Usage of cash. Therefore, this needs at this stage they need to be milked to the extent possible. <clears throat> Finally, you have the dog in an industry with low growth rate and low share of market, does not generate cash, does not consume much cash, there's not much potential here, may break. These units should be so because these need not be carried in the portfolio. <clears throat> these are declining markets. <clears throat> so the natural life cycle for a product is something like this. The question mark may become a star, a cash cow, and then reach the top stage. Or the question mark, when we are not able to capture the market share, may just become a their students. Mm. So don't forget you have the stars, you have the question mark, the stars, the cash cow, and then the decline of the top. Mm. 
according to BCG, remember students, as I repeat, we are not saying that they should be in this particular quadrant. quadrant. It should always be in a particular quadrant. You cannot afford to be only in the cash cow quadrant because there is no further potential for growth. While you milk and make the maximum amount of cash from that particular product line, the market is saturated. So what is the future? So therefore, you need to have the mix. Only a diversified company with a balanced portfolio, hopefully all three kinds. Three kinds, that's a question mark so that you can check, put it in a new area. There's the star, the star so that again, you can, you can um, make use of the growth so that it becomes, becomes ultimately income. So, so you need the question mark, the star and the power balance portfolio. You can use the strengths to truly capitalize on the growth opportunities. So use the strengths and capitalize on the growth opportunities. This is what BCG said. Mm -hmm. The balance portfolio therefore has stars. The high share, high growth rate is sure the future. Cash cows will supply the funds for the future growth. And of course the question marks should be converted into stars with the added funds. Here you have to have all three. We are not saying that you should always be in the cash cow uh, segment or in the star segment. Have a portfolio, have different product lines which are in different areas of each other, in different areas of growth. So the stars, they have high share, high growth, therefore you can have an assured future. Cash cows will supply funds for that future growth. And question marks need to be converted to stars. So you need, you need the funds for that which may hopefully come from the cash cows. The practical use of PCG growth share matrix. This is what actually Henderson said. It's the same thing we have discussed it, but this is what were Henderson's words. <clears throat> to be successful, a company should have a portfolio of products with different growth rates and different market shares. Portfolio of products, different growth rates, different market shares. The portfolio composition is a function of the balance between cash flows. High growth products require cash inputs to grow. Low growth products should generate excess cash. Both kinds 